Dear professors, academicians, researchers, and doctors, hello everyone. Welcome to my paper on Journal of East Asia International Law. The title of my paper is Human Rights Based Approach to Science, Technology, and Development A Legal Analysis. It is published in Volume 11, Issue 1. In this paper, we have actually talked about a lot of things about technology, science and development in the eyes of legal provisions and laws where we can submit the human rights activities on it. The paper is actually based on doctrinal and qualitative research where we have analyzed secondary data in order to find our recommendations. Science and technology and human rights are inextricably linked in many ways. Not only this 21st century, but from the evolution of the United Nations, we have seen that different international legal instruments, conventions, have always admired the development of science and technology and tried to link it with human rights perspective. However, the science and technology is developing very fast. And with these change notions, changing notions, it's very tough for the existing legal instruments to cope up with it. However, we just need to have a different looks on the legal analysis perspective to understand how different innovations in science and technology are providing different tools for the human rights perspective. <clears throat> Other than that, this paper also discusses about the current or existing international legal instruments which still provides the ground for human rights. Some other, uh, some other conventions are developed by UN, UNESCO, and other international regulatory bodies. So if I say, I can tell that the paper, the research, is divided into five parts. And in those parts, where we have talked about the existing legal instruments, uh, where science, technology, and development is supported by human rights conventions. In the second part, we have talked about the inter intersection between law and science where there are a lot of opportunities and challenges and in the last part we have recommended the regulatory communities to come together and address the challenges now in the opportunities part in the 21st century there are a lot of developments of science and technology such as geoimagery geographical positioning where we can see that the recent projects of science and human rights or the projects called as eyes on Syria have actually found out that we can use the scientific methods or scientific developments to understand where human rights violations are going on again the scientific developments provides a lot of questions on the issues such as data protection so there are a lot of things together coming because of the science and technology and the recent economical technologies such as blockchains are also providing a lot of questions on the point of the development in human rights, science and technology. So the paper is a comprehensive one and try to discuss and analyze a lot of issues together. I hope you guys will enjoy reading the research and working on it for future further, uh, further providing new things in the research world. I hope the research will have a huge impact in the research world and I hope that the journal will be uh, awarded for publishing this research paper. Thanks a lot for, for listening to me.